Yesterday, I didn't feel like doing anything. It wasn't as bad as this girl. I think I just want to do nothing and just read. <laughs> I literally want to do nothing. <laughs> That's pretty bad. I wasn't that bad yesterday. I wasn't feeling depressed. I wasn't feeling sad or burned out. I just wanted to lay down and not get up. So that's exactly what I did for three hours. While I was laying down, inevitably I reached for my phone and started watching YouTube videos. I did feel somewhat productive as I was cleaning up one of my playlists and removing videos, but who am I kidding? I was watching video after video and it was not helping me. In this scenario, binging videos is not harmless entertainment, but a catalyst for a downward spiral. And there is a solution to getting out of this rut. As Tony Robbins said, motion creates emotion. If you move your body, it'll change how you feel. The best thing to do is probably going for a walk because in addition to getting moving, it also suppresses your amygdala so you feel less anxious. But you might be thinking, Paul, I don't want to move, let alone go for a walk. To that, I say, I agree. I did not want to go for a walk, so I did not. I did not. I had a pile of laundry waiting to be folded, and the thing that got me up and moving was music. Music is key. There must be some music that moves you, that makes you want to move. Just like Matt Nathanson said. I need some music, I need some sleep. And God damn it, he's right. I need some music to uplift me, and I need some sleep to recharge. Once I turned on music, I started folding laundry, and then I got into mood to doing some other things. I did some dishes, I got on a call to switch a phone plan to a cheaper phone plan, and I scripted most of this video at night. It was turning on music and folding laundry that got me out of this mini rut. If you don't have laundry to do, I would say clean up your room a bit. This is what my friend Chase said. I don't feel like doing anything. And if you can relate to that, then listen here. The easiest way to turn shit around just do the smallest fucking thing you can do. For me, I had this pile of fucking paper sitting on my on my desk forever that I've been meaning to like organize. So I just fucking decided I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna do that. And I didn't expect it to go anywhere. I just expected it, hey, this is a small thing I can do. This will make my day better. And it did make my day better, but in a way that I wasn't expecting it to. I was expecting it to just be like, yeah, okay, I got that off my back. I'm relieved now. But instead, it just completely changed my mood. It was like, holy shit, I want to tackle everything else now. That makes so much sense that he felt that way. For me, folding laundry. For Chase, cleaning up his room. There is something magical about tidying our external environment because our external environment affects our internal world. Making your kingdom tidier feels like a worthy accomplishment. No matter how small, it gets the ball rolling. So when you feel like doing nothing, turn on some music, get moving, clean up your place a bit, or get some sleep. And if you really don't want to do anything, then just lay there. Maybe you need that time to decompress, and that's okay. But whatever you do, just stop binging videos. You'll just feel worse after a binge. And if you're not in a mini rut like me, but you feel like you're in a big rut, if you feel like you're in a not very good place, that's okay too. It's okay to, to not be in a very good place if what you're trying to do with that not very good place is make it better. And one of the things I really have learned as a clinical psychologist is that you just cannot believe how powerful incremental progress is. If you make your life a tenth of a percent better a week, man, in two or three years, you're, you're in such a better place than you were that it isn't even like the same domain. And if you keep that up for 10 years or 20 years, you know, especially if you're young and you start early, you start to straighten yourself out and, and fix the things that you can fix, you can transform your lives in ways that are completely unimaginable. And God only knows what the upper limit of that is in terms of human possibility, because we are amazing creatures, you know, when we really get our act together and stop running at 10% of our capacity. So the answer to getting out of a not very good place is to take one small step every day, or at least every week. Small is not insignificant when you're trying to make it better. 1% better every day, baby. <laughs> Making pee, mochi. Tina, Tina, come here, come here. <laughs> oh, you, you came, Tigger.